I've taken SAT a few days ago and these were the four questions that was on my SAT. Now, I, of course, we've slightly modified the questions to comply with the College Board policy, but they are testing the exact same concepts that you we had in the test. So we're going to solve these questions in the in this video. And if you're taking the next SATs, these questions might also repeat on your SAT as well because College Board loves to repeat questions from the previous tests. So let's get into solving the questions. The first question that we had was asking us if we have this equation, the value of x plus 6 is between which of the following pairs of values. This was in second model as one of the hard questions which is not hard at all because the question is asking us about x plus 6 and we have the x plus 6 already here so rather than x plus 6 rather than solving to x i'm gonna say that this whole thing is x this whole thing is x so then the equation is gonna look like this x over 5 is equal to x over 11 and we are looking for x x plus 6 whole thing is an x right then we can get, just use desmos to figure out to put the equation there x plus x over 5 equals x over 11 and that gives us 0 as the answer is i zoom out there's only one answer this is it's 0 so 0 is the answer answer it is between negative 4 and 4 so choice d is going to be the solution for this question that's how you do this question the best way in the fastest way just using decimals and do not solve for x just solve for the x plus 6 that's what the question is asking us the second question that was in the test was an equation given to us but before solving this question i would like to mention that we've recorded a free training for a 1450 plus sat score guarantee that if you are aiming for a 1450 plus sat score 1500 sat score by your next sat just go and check out the video the, the training that we have in the description uh, it's completely free training and I explain how to get the 1450 plus on your next SAT guaranteed. So if you're serious with your SAT, if you want to get the 1450 plus, so you can watch the video up there. But the second question, we have an equation. It was asking us S and T are positive constants. The product of the solution to the given equation is this, where K is a constant. What is the value of K? So this is a quadratic equation because we see the X square here. And we know that the product of the solutions means the C over A in the quadratic equation. So the C over A here is negative ST over 1 over 24. So that's negative ST over over 1 over 24 which gives us basically negative 24 st if we multiply them so this is equal to negative 2 k st negative 2 k st now what happens here is that negative and negative cancels out 2 and 24 cancels you get 12 here and s and this s also cancels the t and t also cancels so what you have is 12 equals to um k so k is 12 as value of k we're looking for that the answer is 12 this is how we would solve this you don't need any decimals for this one you just have to know that this is the c over a is the productive solution you set it there and this question was in the second model also this hard section and you can see that all the questions given to you are easy you can easily get the perfect map score on the, the sat let's move on to question number three in this question we are given an equation k is an integer constant if the equation has two distinct real solutions what is the greatest possible value of k that's what the question was asking us so what we will do it is asking us the number of the real solutions so this is asking us the discriminant we know that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac should be positive if we have two real solutions right so i'm going to set the discriminant and set it equal to positive and then we can find the greatest possible value for k before doing that we need to simplify this equation so we're going to do kx square minus 27x square minus 16x plus 8 equals 0 now here i can simplify this section and write just factor x square you can write k minus 27x square minus 16x plus 8 this is our equation. Now the discriminant is going to be b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is negative 16. I'm just going to put that into decimals. I'm going to say b squared negative 16 square i'm also gonna put this whole thing into the you see you can see that the answer is different so make sure that you put this whole thing into the parentheses and do the whole thing square these are very important details that you might get the answer wrong but you have to pay attention to so b square b is negative 16 so the whole negative 16 square minus 4 times a which is k minus 27 but rather than k minus 27 i'm gonna put x minus 27 because we want to we want the decimals to solve for x so x minus 27 a times c and the c is 8 so this should be positive right look at this so the k, the x, basically, is less than or equal to 35. And k is an integer constant. Now, this is not equal. It's just less than 35. It's not equal to 35 because we said it's positive. It's We didn't say it's larger than or equal to 0. We just said it's larger than 0. So it cannot be 35. It should be less than 35. And since it k is an integer, the less than 35, the greatest that it can go is going to be 34 as the answer for this question. That is, if you plug 35, that would be the wrong answer. And that's most the students are missing. You just, you just 
don't pay attention or you just do silly mistakes uh it's not equal to the less than this is going to be 34 so the answer is 34 for this question that's how we do this question and again if you are aiming for a 1450 plus sat score you want to get that 1450 plus guaranteed by your next sat you can watch the free training free 1450 plus sat training below this video last question was an area of a rectangular region is increasing at a rate of this much square feet per hour this is a unit conversion question which are the following is closest to this rate in square meters per minute we had uh we always have a unit conversion question in the exam and they are really playing with these unit conversion questions recently they are adding acceleration into the unit conversion questions that you need to be careful or be aware of and yeah but they're very easy to do like you just first write need to write the unit that is given to you so 210 square feet per hour so square feet per hour this is the unit that we have what we are looking to convert this is square meters per minute that's what we need to convert this so i'm just going to write 210 square feet per hour times first let's convert the hour into minutes right so i'm gonna write hour up minute down and i know that one hour is 60 minutes so that's the conversion for that one times square feet down square meter up so when we multiply them this and this cancels this and this cancels and we know that one meter is 3.28 feet so one square meter is going to be 3.28 square feet all right the rest is easy that's it that's the whole thing that we need to do now we're just going to multiply them 210 divided by it's going to be 60 times 3.210 divided by 60 times 3.28 square which gives us um which gives us 0 0.325 which is closest it's, which is the closest which is close to the choice a so the answer is choice a and that's how you do it write the unit that is given to you write the unit that is asking to you see which ones you have to do the conversion and just do the conversion based on the numbers that is given to you and that's all this is the these are some of the questions that we had in the test we, we modified them to comply with the copyright policy so there is no issue but they are testing the exact same thing uh, in the exact same topics if you're taking the sat in the next one the october november december sats make sure that you learn these questions do these questions and if you want to lock in that 1450 plus sat score you can watch the free training below this video about how to get 1450 plus by next sat guaranteed and good luck with your sats see you in the next video